Number 277 in the Masters of Cinema series is Samurai Reincarnation. Directed by Kinji Fukasaka, the man that brought us the wonderful Battle Royale. And this is a completely brilliant and bonkers movie. <laughs> Start of this one, you see uh, the remnants of a massive battle. A battle where 37,000 or 20,000, depending if you're watching the dub or the subtitled version, um, have died. And the leader of the Christians denounces God, says he'll never pray or, or support that man again, and opens his heart to the devil, asking for power. And the devil, uh, Julie, appears and gives it to him, giving him the power to reincarnate uh, dead well, people that are just horrible so they can join him on a murderous rampage. And at the start of this one, we get to see our antagonist roving around, choosing people to join his band of merry murderers. And it is as wonderful as you think. And the strange thing about this is it never becomes repetitive. Even though we see this four or five times throughout the film, it doesn't wear out its welcome. It's always nice to see who he's going to choose. And there's even some surprising members later on. Of course, we have our bad guys, our group of antagonists. We need a hero, a hero that's going to stand up against the atrocities these people are going to commit. And that man is Sonny Chiba, as Juby, a, a, a warrior um, who has an idea that something strange is going on. He has been following these people, keeping an eye on them, wondering who they are uh, as they kind of spread out amongst the land causing chaos. And you just know where it's kind of going to go to. A final battle between all of these people. But the fun isn't in just that final battle. It's seeing everything culminate towards that. To see the wonderful locales and how we move through them and how we decorate them with various shades of blood. How we see our hero going to a master swordsman to create the most incredible sword ever. One that will harm man and God alike. Or devil, if need be. It's got all these kind of familiar sequences, but puts them together and puts a nice little twisted supernatural spin amongst them. This is a wonderful tale as we follow the bad guys, as we see them building their legacy, as their powers are coming to fruition and we understand the horrors that they can create. We get to follow our leader as he tries to save everyone. But there's a wonderful sub-story in this of these people trying to destroy a land, to destroy the hierarchy and how they set about it. And there are some wonderful side stories in amongst that. How someone causes an uprising amongst the farmers. How one character becomes a poisoned whisper within the ear of the shogun, twisting him around, making him forget his duties and turn his back on everyone. There is so much going on here that it's just pure entertainment. It's one of these movies where you're scared to take your eyes off the screen for even a second to miss these wonderfully uh, framed shots, the carnage that is unleashed and that wonderfully fire-soaked finale which I just absolutely loved. <laughs> Samurai Reincarnation was a breath of fresh air, an absolute joy of a movie. Colourful, twisted, enjoyable, highly entertaining. I just had so much fun watching this one. In fact, let's jump into the extras and see what this has to offer. So here we are in the disc for Samurai Reincarnation. We have the film with the original Japanese audio and we have it with the English dubbed audio and it tells you there's two minutes in length that is uh, Japanese audio 
just due to materials that were available. We have an audio commentary by Tom Mez. In the special features, we have Samurai Fictions and Appreciation by Kentai Fukusaku, who is Kenji Fukusaku's son. And this is 27 minutes 51. It's great. He talks about growing up with his father, making films, uh, the nature of working with Sonny Chiba. Um, there's a particular fun story about um, practising um, kind of sword play with his father and not realising his father was using it as a template for a fight sequence within this film. We also have the original theatrical trailer, which is 2 minutes 59. And that's the extras for Samurai Reincarnation. So there we have it. Samurai Reincarnation. Yes, pick it up. Thousand times yes. It's amazing. So much fun. I can't recommend it highly enough. I would love to know your thoughts if you've seen this one. Let me know in the comment box below whether you loved it, hated it, fell somewhere in the middle. I can't wait to hear what you think of this one. There's more content up here. If you want to see more of my stuff, in the description box below are links to the Patreon, the membership program, and manvfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.